Hi friends, I'm Prairie Vintage. My name's Linda. I'm an energy intuitive reader here on YouTube and I use spirits, my intuition, the tarot to communicate energy to you guys, most amazing, beautiful viewers. If you're returning, welcome. I'm so glad you returned back to me. And if you're new to this channel, um, I hope you guys stay. And I do hope that these readings resonate for all of you guys. You guys are all very safe and welcome in this space today. Let's see if I can make sense of today's reading. Yesterday's reading was a little cray cray. So you guys got some stuff going on in your world, I see. Um, let's look at what maybe um, a person on your mind is not being honest about. Okay, so this could be, I don't know, lying by omission, what it is that maybe they want to tell you but haven't, or what they don't want you to know, or what they're being dishonest about. Whatever pulls through is what I'm going to be reading. Okay, so do not force this to fit. It should be something that is resonating with your intuition. Okay, if this is like completely out of left field, um, then it's most likely not your pile. Okay, so I do not need to lecture in, in regards to using tarot readings wisely. Um, but at first, those of you guys may be new to the tarot world, it's best you develop your own intuition, especially, um, you know, if we've been sort of stuck in the, in the tarot world for a little bit, then we could get completely lost. So use your intuition, what you'll see, feel, or hear to determine whether the pile makes sense for you. Hopefully the energy of the connection pulls through as well. So I can confirm to you that it's your pile, you know, but I will just sort of be reading whatever pulls through here. Okay. So it's for those of you guys really in tune with your intuition. So four options to choose from today and we'll pull some oracles as well. We have the tarot of mystical moments for option one. If at any point you want to select your option, the timestamp will be in the description box and in the pinned comment below, it will take you directly to your pick. Tarot of the Divine for option number two. Option number three, we have the Dame Darcy Mermaid Tarot. And for option number four, we have the Crow Tarot. So as usual, sometimes the energy could be reversed. Could be saying it's your person and it's you it could be just solely your energy in that pile meaning what it is you want to say to your person or have not yet said your feelings and communications okay so if if that's the case then your person's energy could be in another pile and sometimes it's blended so you'll have to determine whose energy is what i'm just solely reading the energy as i see it in the in the, in the cards and as it pulls through energetically okay so with that out of the way i will see you guys at your big Hello, hello, gorgeous angels, pile number one. You guys pick the tarot of mystical moments with the twins. Let's take a look. Person on your mind, what is it that they're not communicating or what is it that they're maybe avoiding communicating or maybe what they have lied about or not wanting you to know in regards to the truth? Okay, so person on your mind. And if you skip the intro, Please use your own intuition over mine, okay? If this is very surprising, then it's most likely not your pile. It should be something that resonates with your intuition and it confirms whatever it is you're probably already thinking or knowing, okay? So with that out of the way, let us take a look at what is pile number one's person not communicating or avoiding to talk about with pile number one. Have they lied? What is the truth with pile one's person? Clear and concise message for the greatest and highest good of beautiful pile one spirit and this connection. Please protect me and the viewer as I channel this message for the greatest and highest good of the connection and pile one. Thank you so much, pile one, for allowing me to tap into your energy, the energy around you at this time. I'm so blessed to be here doing your reading. And... Like I mentioned, this could certainly be your own energy, okay? So you'll have to determine if this is you or your person. If this is your energy, your person might be in another pile. Sometimes it's blended and you'll have to crisscross who's who. I'm solely just reading energy. Okay, before I reveal the tarot, let's pull the oracles as well. 
pile one's person. What is it that they're not communicating or telling pile one the truth about? Is there anything pile one's person is hiding, avoiding, not communicating to pile one? Okay, this one flipped around. You are the first person to make me feel this way. Wow, okay. I'll use the abstract cards that I created here as well. Yeah, this one and this one. Okay, so let's take a look. The only card that revealed itself. You are the first person to make me feel this way. So the sounds pretty positive. I, I'm getting like a an intense energy here. I mean, maybe this person hasn't been in a whole lot of connections or deep connections here is kind of what I'm picking up. So it could be very intense. And I don't know that this person has is capable of expressing how they're feeling to you in regards to this intense energy that they're feeling. So it could be they haven't communicated any of their feelings or at least it's very watered down here. Okay, so let's see. We have humor. I choose to focus on the lighter side of life. Yeah, they might be keeping this as a three cups type situation, you know, like friendship. Um, they enjoy your company. So it seems as though they're showing like they're not interested here in, in their more lighthearted energies. They, they might even, you know, be, be making jokes, like downplaying feelings and that sort of thing. Okay, peace. I am a being of love and I release all negative energy. Okay. And we have this abstract card right here. Interesting. It's giving me um, clouds and um, pillars as well. So, so I'm feeling like a, a confusion in regards to grounding their feelings. You know, like being secure and solid and standing on what they feel and believe, but then all the clouds, it's like confusion on how to do this. Like, how do I secure? And yeah, and there's four pillars, which is giving me four wands. Like, how would I go about securing this or grounding this or building something here? Because I feel this person is in unfamiliar energy in this connection. A conflict is what I'm getting from this. But, but the pink is giving me like love. So it's like, all of these emotions I'm feeling, like this love, I feel. I feel there's love here, you know, but it's it's conflict. I'm seeing five wands. Inner conflict, not sure how to. Here's the fire. Here's, a, I'm seeing question marks. So it's like passion, but I don't know how to, I don't know how to take action. And I'm also scared of rejection. And, and I feel like a lot of you guys might be feeling rejection from this person if they're kind of keeping you at an arm's distance. But I still don't know this piece is coming through yet, how that plays. Everything will be okay, 46. And this is the number 10. 10 is all about transformation and ends of cycle. 10 is also the wheel of fortune, which is um, things spinning in the right direction. It could be fate. It could be divine intervention. It could be cyclical. I'm getting the okay, which could be talking about cyclical energies. Everything will be okay. I have a feeling this person feels like um, they can't trust that everything will be okay if they communicate or show how they feel. You know, like, what if it doesn't work? What if they're rejected? <clears throat> like, they're, like, they're not certain. They're con conflicted whether everything would be okay. Okie dokie. Yeah, and then and then 10 is also the, the sun and the tarot reduced which is clarity, you know, and being very happy. Because I feel like this person is almost like avoiding being happy in case it doesn't work out okay. Okie dokie. Restlessness. So this is um, also the number 10. So 10 does pull through very strong here. Like I was saying, Wheel of Fortune, Sun Energy, Transformation, Ends of Cycle, uh, Completion. And then with the restlessness, this is giving me like nine swords you know and and the clock is giving me wheel of fortune again because this is like divine timing but but i feel like this person has been sitting for quite some time 
and still has not been able to express themselves. So they might be showing cyclical behavior here, but a lot of anxiety. And I feel like this person has their eye on you, like they've been watching you like really intently here. Yeah, very intently. But I feel like they've had many opportunities, like a lot to express and communicate. And I don't feel they have, you know, like to, to the degree in which they're feeling, which the, the truth here is that is a very intense feeling, not a, not a light feeling here. And, and yeah, okay. Now the peace is coming through as well as because right under the conflict, it's like, I don't want to go intently with the fire here of what I'm feeling, because if everything isn't going to work out, okay, it's like, I'm not keeping the peace. I might create conflict and I'd rather keep pile one either in my life. So you guys might be friends and they don't want to ruin the friendship, but I feel it's even deeper than that. It's like they might have to do something in their world, you know, that um, would require them to break the status quo. So not keep the peace, like, and risk something, you know, even if it might not be a big risk to them, it's like a risk. Like if I go after pile one and show interest, I break the status quo or, or the peace I have going on in my world right now. Like there's nothing really going on in my world right now, or everything's going kind of tickety boo. And here comes pile one, you know, that now I feel um, like if I express how I feel and then we, we take this on and it's not okay, like. Yeah, there's a lot of anxiety here with the restlessness, but also I feel this person can't fight to their feelings. Like they can't suppress it. So they're like, I, I feel these feelings, but I'm trying to either wait for them to pass, subside, or wait for the right time for me to communicate to pile one when it's not as intense. But I, I don't feel it's going away. And also, I don't know, maybe some of you guys might be in another connection. So this person might feel like they'd have to fight for you or like you're, you're, um, you're someone they'd have to maintain or fight for, like, you, like you're not on this person's level almost, you know, like, it's probably peaceful if I just stay where I'm at. But if I go after pile one, it's like, I, I'd open myself up to having this challenge, almost like, I, I don't even know I want this challenge, like, I'd rather just, you know, it be okay, like, just be as it is. But, but underneath that there's intense feelings. So it's like convincing themselves that where it's at is enough, you know, but inside there's like this restlessness, like suppression of feeling here. Oh, okay. Well, that was quite a bit coming through. Let's see what the terror, tarot, let's see the terror. This person does feel like they're in a whole lot of terror. The tarot has to say, okay, so we have six wands. So this is again, what would my community think, you know, how would I be perceived? How would others perceive me? Maybe you guys have the same friend group or work together or the same community of people, family, friends, but it could just be, if I do this, how would I appear to pile one? Like I, I want to appear confident and I want everything to be okay. You know, I want it to run smooth. So it's almost like if I don't know it's going to run smooth then why would I take the chance or now it doesn't feel like it, I'd want to chance it so much in case it doesn't, in case I'm not successful, how that would make me appear. The hummingbird is all about the nectar of life. So again, I'm getting the, the pink, which is love and um, a lightness. I'm getting the sun energy, lightness. Like, I don't know, this person feels very um, warm in your presence, feels love, you know, and, and here, right, rising above the clouds, which we were getting from this abstract card. It's like, They're navigating through confusion here, but, but I don't know, almost like they're floating on your love too. You know, like when we fall in love and we're just kind of like floating, kind of like floating. This person is, yeah, like floating. Okay. So we have seven of pentacles in reverse. Yeah. Why even try? My, I'll just maintain the status quo. It's like, what if, um, what if things don't work out? Okay. And I put this energy and I, and we don't fulfill something or I can't fulfill this obligation. I can't compete and maintain pile one. Maybe they think you're, you're high maintenance or that a connection would be high maintenance or that they're just not ready or good enough for a connection here. So I'd rather keep the peace. 
and in this one like this person sitting with the with half the harvest so i'm getting the energy of i'd rather settle on half of the experience with this person is like or in my life already like this person feels like your energy around them i don't know if you're their friend or friends with benefits or whatever is going on here but but i feel like it keeps this person high and and light and so they're getting half of the harvest which i feel you know isn't the full harvest but it keeps them satisfied keeps them satisfied so that they don't have to try here so it's like i'd rather have half than nothing at all like that's their where their mindset is like then i just have nothing at all if it doesn't work out and i go after pile one and i shit the bed it's kind of the feeling i'm getting so it's like a giving up energy sitting with half of you however it is if you're in friend zone then it's like i'd rather just sit there and stare and stare at pile one or have them in this sort of half-assed way in my life but for them it's not really half-assed because it, it it kind of i don't know motivates this person in some way it, it keeps them going keeps them going four of cups so four cups is the unrequited love and where we're focused on what might not work you know it's like looking at the spilled cups rather than the two cups possibility so it's like the possibility of coming together is on the table but i'd rather focus on the fact that it might not work what if it doesn't work out and that i'd have to maybe compete or fight for and so this is what i'm looking at and focused on and here we see the umbrella which is divine protection divine protection and we had the wheel of fortune there's the star this wishes long-term vision and hope for the future and healing and also divine i'm getting divine guidance i feel this person's being divinely guided towards making a future for themselves like look even this like this lady sort of like holding this like it's like you know a carrot on a stick when we I don't know if it's the donkey or the the horse or whatever when we like put the the carrot and then it keeps walking it's like this flower is like guiding this hummingbird towards their happiness you know their long-term happiness they're being guided here it's like uh their destined future so yeah i feel like there is certainly an, an energy here of divine intervention in this person's life with your presence however this has come about and i feel like this person has turned their back the other way you know rather than sort of take some sort of chance in following what they what their desire actually is here but but either which way i feel like they're they're being led down this path whether they're aware of it or not but I, I feel like their outside energy is showing this like rejection because they're not showing their true self so it almost feels like you're you're feeling shut out or rejected it's like well what do you mean you don't feel you know what i'm feeling here because they do they do feel this way but the outside's not showing it mm, okay devil yeah this is devilish energy so we have aquarius and capricorn energy so far I'm also getting some Gemini energy as well, but okay. So it's like, um, this is the toxic mushroom that you can't eat. And the spiders all about creativity and building and the cherries here is like, uh, um, like a two cups, like a sweet relationship you know, with the cherries. And I was getting sweet from the hummingbird. Like this person finds you really really sweet and i do feel this person is romantically interested in you if they haven't told you this so you might work with this person and you just want a confirmation but i feel like the tox toxicity here is if they were to create something they feel like um taking the chance that it could be toxic you know like not saying you'd be toxic or the connection but it's coming through very extreme like if it doesn't work like that's the thing like i eat this and now it's disaster you know or 
yeah what happens if it's disaster or like not as sweet as it is now like now it's sweet at least you know now at least pile one doesn't hate me or now at least I can maintain some sort of peace. Now at least I got half the, the harvest here because I get to see pile one. But if I eat the mushroom, AKA make a move and accept this connection and it's not okay, then things fall apart. It doesn't work. And this is like devil energy. It's like, we don't even try. We're not optimistic in allowing the universe to guide us, you know, to have a wish or a hope of it. And I'm seeing the fairy wings, which are giving me, um, uh dragonfly energy and the dragonfly is having to see through illusion and so this person is having to see through their own process of maybe um giving up on having a dream a desire a wish for themselves in the face of what if it doesn't work or having to try like having to to try okay so devil energy some of you guys might be in cyclical behaviors here with this person you know like like because devil is like stuck energy like feeling bound or stuck but i feel this person has cyclical energy in their life Yes. Okay. So this person, before probably even knowing you, like the devil in their world is how they've been creating themselves out in the world, like getting into their own harvest of, of themselves and like how they build and create relationships, their world. And it's like, they're like fated to learn this new way of dealing because I feel like this devil energy is getting in the way of this person growing. And getting in the way of them building things for themselves because they might just take this approach on everything it's like oh i just won't even you know um apply for that position in case i don't get it but i'll apply for like the, the lower positions because at least i know i'll get it so i'm like half the apple like half the harvest i'm still working for that company but it's like yeah but you're capable of trying you know but it's like this sort of approach so it could be a, just a confidence thing like a confidence thing that this person is lacking always like seeing the worst thing that could possibly happen here and it gets in the way of their creation and their happiness and yeah what's that king of wands yeah this is exact energy that they need to encompass here that the universe is mirroring to this person like the king of wands aries leo sagittarius energy is very confident and is always has their eye on on their their target their aim their desire of what they want and they really don't take no for an answer like they don't really see all the things that kind of could go wrong it's like as things go wrong i figure out a way how to overcome them that's how confident the king of wands is he spends more time looking at everything that he wants that could go right and when things go wrong it's like well that's not even a that's not even a concern you know i just deal with it like yeah like move towards my passion and and look and and sort of beat my own drum here confident in their own ability to sing their own song is all about the confidence doesn't matter more clouds in the background here yeah they're learning a lesson of confidence going after what they want taking aim having also um yeah because the spider web is like over time we create our future and what we want to see in our world and so this person might be very much it's gonna say played by the universe it's like wherever the universe sort of has done up until now but but i feel like yes but this person is also chalking it up to that rather than taking charge or having vision for themselves because they might feel they're not incapable of attaining a vision of long term for themselves like something that might take time to build it's okay to have that sort of vision, you know, or to have that passion. But it's like, if we have, if we get stuck on that vision or that passion of what we want to build and it doesn't work out, it's like, then we feel the disappointment. So I'd rather not feel that. It's like deathly painful if I feel it failing. So it keeps me held back from not even trying or exploring or experiencing. Yeah, I don't even experience it. 
page of wands is same similar energy you know the king of wands is just more mature and the page of wands is sort of the early stages but uh, some would even say like a page of wands is even more carefree like child energy like there's no reservation it's just exploring what will happen and allowing our youthful energy to pull us towards what we want to explore nothing really holds us back here and i'm seeing i don't know if these are acorns they kind of look like acorns and acorns would talk to me about this this time again because the acorn takes a very long time to form the oak tree it's all about the, the the amount of time seven of pentacles is the amount of time creating the webs the amount of time like I don't know, maybe this person has a hard time committing to anything that's not immediate if it takes some time. Because the star is all about the distant future, the distant desire, but but we, ha we have to sort of show some sort of conviction. So it's like I'd rather not even entertain anything in the long distance here, like in the distant future, I should say. Some of you guys might be in the long distance. Um, yeah, unless I know, like, look how big this freaking magnifying glass is. More eye. It's like I have to know. I have to see. And know for sure. So if it's not happening, like, right in front of me and I don't see it. Then I'm kind of still. Because look, this page of wands is just still. It's not exploring. Here I see a dove. That's peace again. Keep the peace. Keep the status quo. Keep it as it is. It's a tropical bird here. Lots of birds coming through your reading. And birds sometimes could be gossip of others, you know, like other people. And so since we have six wands, it's also how would other people perceive. So maybe there's a lot of, they feel um, a community of people that might talk or might pass judgment or might have a lot to say. And so that's why we see like beach to your own drum. It doesn't matter what other people might say. You know, and it's like it would cause conflict in their world. So I'd rather just kind of keep peace. But why the tropical bird? Tropical birds usually are like parakeets and parrots and, and uh, toucans. Like, but they speak. Like they speak. So, yeah, this came through another reading I did. I don't know, like, has this person, yeah, I feel like there's a block here in, in speaking their truth. Like, they haven't spoke their truth. And birds, these types of birds, like, they, they parrot or they, like, repeat. So it's like they're doing the status quo. Like, they're doing what everyone around them would expect them to do, or at least in their mind, they have an idea of who they're supposed to be in that community or for the people around them. And so I'm going to just mirror that, you know, in my, in my action, but also maybe, yeah, like, like, like speaking is like representing them, but it's not authentically them. It's just like mirroring or, or, or acting in a way that, that the others are, are doing or wanting them to do. Like, you know, Polly want a cracker. And then they say, Polly want a cracker. You know, that sort of thing. And the reds giving me um, root chakra. Same with devil. And the root chakra, I mean, it, it could be where we house traumas in the lower three chakras. The root would be, you know, we, we use um, distractions, addictions, um we might not feel very safe or like grounded in who we are with the root chakra you know the red coming through again so it's like who we are like the beat of our own drum like this person's not comfortable in who they are so they can't they don't feel confident in building something that's truly theirs because they don't even know who they are outside of them just knowing that they they want they're keeping the peace and maybe they believe themselves to be their environment or the people around them like they think this is them they think this is them okay the empress look at this so this is all abundant love like this is divine feminine energy it's unconditional love pure love the baby here fertility 
Taurus and um, I'm getting Libra energy as well with the Venus. So there's no question that there's there's love here, you know, that this person sees you as a beautiful empress energy. But I, I feel like this person, yeah, like all the things I was mentioning is sort of keeping them from being able to receive love and reciprocate love. And like the baby here, so inner child. I think we see a page here, so it's giving me very like youthful energy or an early stage of something. Early stage. The Ten Wands in reverse. So look at the Ten Wands. She's barefoot. Tulips. I'm getting with the tulips. I'm getting um the birds talking again. Like tulips. Like T-W-O space L-I-P-S with the flowers because these certainly look like tulips to me. So, yeah, and then humor. It's like, I don't know if they're putting on a show for other people. It's like, I'm going to say the things other people would expect me to say and not the truth. And so we carry this 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 burden of non-authenticity at the expense of building our own future that just builds up, builds up. And then Ten Wands in reverse, I feel like, at a certain point, the straw breaks the camel's back because we can't carry this burden. And, and the love overpowers this sort of um, heaviness we carry. So this is more in my future position. I don't know. Maybe you just give this person unconditional love or like you love this person from afar. And like this person has to sort of hit their limit of how... How long can I carry the burden of my inauthenticity that's holding me back and building what I truly want for myself, you know, and, and, and rejecting and, and seeing the, the things here that don't work, especially if they're being guided to down this path for a reason. You know, the Queen of Wands, this person is like really attracted to your beautiful energy and like there's peacock energy and peacock is the um, self-expression, the two lips, like speaking our truth to be seen for who we are truly, but also it's ego, the peacock, okay? So, and same with six wands is ego. There's like a need to recognize one's ego, which is impacting how this person shows up. And the ego here is saying, I, I wanna be accepted, you know, or I have an understanding of who I need to be or how I need to appear and look and engage at the expense of my own happiness. And here we have the beautiful sunflowers and the sunflowers turn towards the sun. So it's almost like guiding you know, like guiding towards clarity, guiding towards the sun, like guiding towards the their aim, like, uh, like, yeah, there's, this person is slowly moving towards, I feel, the truth of how they feel, although I feel it's taking a lot of time. I feel like at this point, this person hasn't jumped into feet here because of the, all the reasons we mentioned, but I feel like this person can't run away from their inauthenticity, that it's piling up on them, you know, like the love, like look at all these flowers. And I feel like the flowers are all surrounding this beautiful empress. It's like the more love this empress sort of radiates, it, it weighs on this person until they can't no more. It's like, I just can't carry this love on my back pretending like it doesn't exist or like I don't want it or like uh, giving lip service to something else, you know? It's like this per person's a, a mouthpiece to inauthenticity in their world. But meanwhile, it's like, I have these really strong feelings about you. Like you're the first person that's made me really feel like this and, and recognize this about self. So they might have not have followed other relationships, you know, like, like other relationships weren't driving them to impact change in this way. So they'd rather just maintain the status quo and now here comes this empress and it's like i have to see this you know i am divinely guided to see this about self here the way it's impacting me creating in my world you know and, and fearing the toxicity that may occur but it's all a fear because the devil's an illusion you know and and that sort of thing so i was gonna pull these I think I might still, just to see if we could see some more, but I, I think this is your reading. Like, what are they lying about? They're, they're inauthentic in regards to how they feel about you. They haven't communicated it to you, and they might, in some cases, for some of you guys, be saying the opposite, you know? And in other cases, just playing it cool, 
and not, you know, I don't know. Or in other cases, giving you just a little bit, but it's just the tip of the iceberg. Like, you know, yeah, I like you or whatever. Meanwhile, there's like this raging like fire going on here. But it's like, I don't know how to manage this raging fire. And I don't want to experience rejection here or it falling apart. Spirits, can we just dive in a little bit deeper? Any questions Pile 1 still has to end this reading? Anything further we can communicate to beautiful Pile 1 in regards to this connection? I feel your energy is absolutely beautiful here with the Empress. You know, and this person, I'm going to leave that like that. This person also feels um, your beautiful love here is unconditional. And here we have a bunny, and the bunny is... Um, fertility I and mean, she's pregnant okay this is all about fertility but for me bunnies i generally read it as divine timing divine timing so magician okay let's see and under that we have the um, eight wands but it's in a circle so it's looking like wheel of fortune eight wands is about having a breakthrough movement expansion like moving on you know, and here it's cyclical. So I got, again, that, that feeling I was telling you guys, even though we never saw the Wheel of Fortune yet, it's, it, but we saw like destiny here with the star. It's, it's, this person is in a cyclical behavior of missing out on things here rather than allowing themselves to move forward. Look at the little clock, which I just noticed. So timing again, coming through divine timing. It's time this person learned some sort of faded lesson in regards to how to break out of this energy because it's impacting for sure relationship, but maybe all across their world here. So it's like, what can I manifest? Virgo, Gemini, Gemini is also communication. So lots coming through. There might be a lot of blocks in the throat chakra with self-expression with the Gemini. There's a star again. Yeah. Aquarius energy. So it was, um, we already talked about the star. No need to repeat it, but that's the lesson, you know, the, the distant vision for themselves like they're almost guilty having having a vision of what they want for themselves so i'd rather just play things as they unfold right here right now in case it doesn't work out for me then i'd be very sort of disappointed queen of swords clarity certainty four cups right on top of the four cups despondent energy not going after it and then the strength in reverse yeah it's like this person this is leo energy and we have gemini libra aquarius so strong Aquarius and Gemini energy. And Leo with all the um, ego we were seeing as well, pulling through with the ego. So, but in reverse, yeah, it's like, I'm not strong at this point. You know, I don't have confidence in myself at this point to see what I could do or be clear about taking action to ground something, to to hone it, to to root it, to commit to it in a way that's going to have a an impact on my success so if i'm not engaged in my success and it doesn't work then i'm not really taking any accountability so i'm more focused on what could go wrong and then the king of pentacles in reverse yeah i'm not going to like how can we build anything of substance like this this the webs i was seeing you know like the web is going to take time the acorns the, the clock the, the divine timing like time 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 to create something with the king of pentacles this is over time we build the structure the stability and and get grounded in our confidence of what we could create and build over time this person is not confident at all in their ability of long-term creation commitment being solid and creating that for themselves in case they fail high priestess so this is our intuition this is being guided by what we know is right inside and if we're not in tune with what's right inside we sort of just start doing actions that might contradict what we intuitively know we're being pulled to do here pisces energy so yeah there's a truth inside you know like their, their intuition is saying another thing what would make them happy and and i feel Again, because this is more further out here in this position, it's like the love pulls through the intuition. The unconditional love will pull through the intuition here that's in there somewhere. Because it's not like they're suppressing or denying it in the future here. It's in the upright. It's something they're needing to take action on their intuition. 
and maybe instead of repeating a cycle, like actually having an eight wands, like moving out of this energy and bring justice and emperor, yeah, take action in bringing justice to themselves. Aries and Libra. So in the future position, I feel this person is pulled by the love of you, the empress, if you resonate as you being this empress, to take action on their intuition, to actually get empowered. You know, emperor's all about confidence, but it's control confidence to make decisions. You know, and I feel this person has been shutting them out so much that their world has been imbalanced. Even their connections have been imbalanced. I mean, it felt very, um, yeah, like, like things are very imbalanced. And so this is bringing justice, making things right. Taking action on making things right and finding the balance in self. So I do feel this person is either working on this or moving towards this, but I do feel this is what the love is sort of driving them to towards like this love, this, this pink, beautiful love. I was feeling unconditional love is sort of the carrot, you know, guiding this person. It's like very light energy. So this is what I see pile one. I hope this resonated for you. I love you guys very much. Let me know in the comments and I'll see you at the next one. Bye-bye. Hello, hello, beautiful, gorgeous angels. You guys pick the tarot of the divine. Pile number two, let's take a look. What is it exactly that the person on your mind is not to, either being honest about, maybe they've tried to deceive you or they're saying the opposite or they're just avoiding communicating to you something that uh, they don't want you to know or that they just fear communicating to you. Maybe they want to tell you, but either which way, it's the truth this person hasn't yet communicated that is either going to confirm something for you or validate something for you, okay? And like I mentioned in the intro, if it's completely something that takes you off guard, completely left field, most likely not your pile, okay? This is use your own intuition over mine. Don't let it spook you out. It doesn't make sense. Not your pile. It could be your own energy. Okay, if I tap into an energy here and it sounds like what you want to say and your feelings and all that, then your person could be in another pile. So use your own intuition. If there's mixed energy, I'll try to differentiate the two. You determine who's who. Crisscross it if I get it wrong, but don't force the messages or change anything other than exactly as I'm reading it here. Okay, if the message doesn't work for your situation, don't take it. Let's ask spirit for a clear and concise message for beautiful pile number two. The person on their mind, what is it exactly that pile two's person has not yet communicated, has lied about, is omitting, doesn't want pile two to know, or just has not yet been able to admit here with pile number two. Spirit's clear and concise message for the greatest and highest good. Please protect me and the viewer as I channel this message for the greatest and highest good of Pile 2. Thank you so much, Pile 2, for allowing me to tap into your energy, the energy around you at this time. I'm so blessed to be doing your reading. So my abstract cards, and we'll pull some of these oracles before we tap into this energy. Clear and concise message. Pile number two's person. What is it that they have not yet been able to come clean about or admit? Okay. And one more. Pile number two's connection. Pile number two's person, spirit. What is it? Here, one more. One more. Okie dokie. So, let's start with the oracles. Imagination. I embrace and nourish the creative aspect of my mind. Okay, beautiful. Self-esteem. I possess gifts of the soul that benefit me and others. Okay. And we have telepathic bond. Wow. Wow. So normally we have telepathic bonds with people that we have soul recognition with. So this feels very spiritual here, especially with imagination. I'm getting 
I'm getting like a dreamy energy here, Pisces, Pisces energy and um, Seven Cups, daydreamy sort of fantasy-like energy. Okay, and then here we have unhealthy attachment. So it could be this person as, um, as attached to a, a, a fantasy, a vision of what could be rather than maybe being confident in making things happen here. It's like this dream state where this person is okay, like 5D dream fantasy, but yeah, we'll see. Okay, so here we have this abstract card. It's kind of giving me um, earth and water. So we might have some Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, but I feel like it's... Um, I feel a stuckness here, you know, stuckness when it comes to emotions with the water and the mud, you know, the earth, it's like my emotions are making me feel stuck. The more I feel, the more of a mess I kind of feel here, the more water we add to the earth, the more muck we create, like a sludge. Here we have what looks like tombstones. So tombstone we could represent it as death, which is the transformation. The death card in the tarot is all about, um, yeah, like the end of something so we can make space for the new and transform completion. But also I get five cups, you know, it's like grieving the sadness. When we're at a graveyard, it's like we feel sad or we're looking at the past. Okay, and then here we have this abstract card, which always kind of gives me the stepping stones so either we could go you know up or we could be going down in the stepping stones and and then getting like the the spirals so it's like um it, it could be cyclical behavior but i feel like there is movement still either which way so are we going inwards or are we going outwards like Outwards getting further apart or further ahead, I should say. Further ahead. Okay, that's an interesting energy. I'll have to see how this fits. And then we have this twin. Wow. Okay, some of you guys might resonate with them. The first pile because we used the mystical moments, which were the twins here, okay? So some of you guys might even resonate with the, a twin soul here with the telepathic bond. 57. And the number 12. 12 is hangman, which is our perception. A state of limbo, potentially. Like, do I, do I move forward or do I move away? Do I go back or, or forward? Okay, let's see. What does the tarot have to say? So we have ten wands. I don't read bottom of the deck reverse. Under the ten wands, we have the five of pentacles in reverse. It's a very heavy energy here. Okay, strength, Leo energy. Knight of wands. It's a fire, lots of passion, ace of pentacles in reverse. Locked manifestation, the sun, Leo energy, yeah, lots of, of... I was getting fire, not from this one, but um, the lack of, like, lack of self-esteem is like keeping it in the imagination or the fantasy, but behind it, there's like this desire you know, that's safe in the in the imagination world, but in the outside world, it's like my emotions are creating stuckness, a heaviness here that I, I can't seem to carry. I don't know, it seems like there's two worlds going on here. Anyway, the sun is the most powerful card in the tarot about joy, certainty, being content, enlightened. Okay. It's also like when we're getting hangman energy because the hangman is a period of getting enlightened and seeing a greater truth from a different perspective. And here we have the ace of swords. So you're not seeing something clearly or being taking action on authentic truth. 
communicating a truth, acting on a truth, seeing clearly a truth. This is like, yeah, like uh, we're not being authentic in some way. And, and here we have the rope. And it's all tied up, the rope. So the truth will, will set them free. This person feels like I was getting like the mud in the water and, and like the past here. Like there's something that needs to be the truth and the clarity of this person's authenticity and acting and it will break them out of where they're feeling stuck. Because I feel this person feels oppressed, feels sort of... Um, stuck wherever they're at but yet in this other world it's like this person can envision something here that that they feel is like in some fantasy world of truth rather than it being the reality of the manifestation of something here that could happen for them the queen of cups in reverse cancer scorpio pisces so this is the water energy you know the queen of cups is compassionate loving caring emotionally giving of herself and here we have it blocked. Okay, let me sit with this energy. What's under the five pentacles in reverse? The nine of pentacles. This is kind of the doing it alone independent card. Watermelon. Okay, uh, let me sit here with this. I think this is probably going to be giving us some... Oops, some clarity here with this stepping stones. Okay. Let me sit here. Okay, this is very interesting. The five cups, yeah, I was feeling that from this. Okay, so this is this is interesting energy. So I feel like this person is their 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 physical sort of engagement of how they're engaged in the world right now, and in, in this connection is really heavily focused on what happened to them in the past. It has a hold of this person. You know, and so I feel like this person is spending, exerting a lot of energy in trying to make sense or overcome something about self here that I feel captured their, their confidence, their self-esteem, their ability to function in, in a confident way with themselves because of what's happened to them in the past, whatever this past thing was, maybe a, a relationship that really, really knocked them down, uh, you know, a lot in their confidence. And it's like this person is almost like um, having to, they feel, um, rectify, balance this out, come out on top or gain their confidence in that in order for them to then say, okay, now I can focus on what I need to that's in front of me. But but I, I feel like this is what's keeping them stuck. Like there's nothing they can do about what's happened to them in the past. And so I don't know if they're like replaying well, they're certainly replaying what's happened to them in the past energetically. It's, it's, it's manifesting in their world right now by keeping them incapable of forward movement and manifesting new and seeing, seeing what could be possible and taking action on the new, you know, like engaging on how they actually feel. Because I feel like this person has feelings here in this connection. I feel this person feels stuck. And I feel like the only lack of... Um, There's a lack of action here and acting on their feelings, being clear about what they want, taking a new beginning, manifesting it. And so the heaviness they feel here and the burden is this lack mindset that they're sitting in, you know, and so it's like, it's all around them building their confidence back up, you know, like I'm capable and I'm worthy and what's happened to me, it's like they replay this piece of themselves 
So there is like passion here for you and this connection, but it's being sucked out or drained or reconciled in a way here that keeps them thinking about what happened to them in the past. And so therefore it's like they'd rather not act just yet or take action just yet. And so I feel there's a telepathic bond between you guys for sure in the spiritual connection here because you could feel their passion. But it's like, okay, so I feel their passion, but this person hasn't taken action on their feelings. They haven't made themselves clear about what direction they want to take here or what they want to happen. But there's no, like, it's like they keep this connection in like a fantasy realm in this telepathic bond they have between you guys because they don't want to recreate some sort of energy that 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 held them hostage in the past or that did a number on them in the past and so they're trying to build their confidence from this thing but it but it's keeping them not able to move forward you know really like in this connection so i don't know if they're thinking like i don't know because from the spiral like i'm getting they're still going to be a forward movement although it might seem like they're moving backwards at times like with the spiral it's always like kicking out and so there's progress but it's like very uh, cyclical and slow and you know like uh, one step forward and like two steps back or one, uh, two steps forward one step back sort of energy this yeah like i feel this person is, is stuck on the something of the past here and so the transformation is happening but their energy is really sort of targeted towards the thing that happened that that left them feeling like they had no control of their they let it impact their self-worth so much you know because it's now impacting their confidence their ability to be confident in themselves but but this is so separate from you because i feel like your energy is coming here as a twin like this person connects to you but it, it's all in this sort of um 5d energy like it's all energetic i really feel like if you're at this pile like this person hasn't said anything done anything that would indicate any grounding of this connection or even acting on their feelings so they're they're slowly working with the steps to get themselves out of this spirally way of thinking does this thing that happened that kept them in this sort of i think it, it it it's like a tower moment maybe it left them in a whirlwind they don't know up from down and they're gaining their bearings they feel held back by this they have to sort of learn themselves again and their confidence what they're capable of doing and doing all that because right now it's like um if they were to move forward like they feel like they're in sludge you know like like my emotion the more i'm gonna feel about pile number two the more stuck and sludgy i feel so i need to get my control back of my confidence, who I am, what I want, and then I can be clear about having a new beginning, taking action on this, grounding this, speaking how I feel. But right now I'm going to kind of keep it in the 5D. But this unhealthy attachment is to the thing in the past. Because as long as they're attached to this, what happened, it keeps it alive. You know, but sometimes we just got to mourn or go through the process until we realize that we're the ones keeping it alive by feeding it. And so right now I think this person has real low self-esteem. They were really impacted by the thing that happened. And it could be a childhood thing. You know, it doesn't have to be a, a, an intimate relationship directly. It could be an indirect experience. You know, watching your parents divorce or, I don't know, past, past, past lifetimes of trauma. And so I feel like this that's where this person's fire is at. It's like... I gotta overcome this, you know, like, and fight this within me. Like, I feel like there's a fight going on within this person. So then they can be clear about their direction and what they want to manifest for themselves. 
but it's like the new beginning now is is at a risk here just waiting on hold in the reverse because it's like the only way they can have a new beginning is to pull themselves out of this lack mindset so like you don't need to attribute any of your self-esteem around a past experience that was unpleasant you know so this person could be trying to build themselves their independence like I am okay on my own, you know, I am okay as I am, I am confident enough and now I'm capable of being in a connection. But it's like this person doesn't feel like they're at that point right now that they could be in a, in a healthy connection because I don't think they have a, a healthy relationship with themselves. Yeah, so let's pull some tarot and see if we could get a little bit more here. Spirit, for pile two, is there anything more pile two is needing to know about this person and what they're not really communicating because I feel like what they're not I feel they're not saying a whole lot of things okay they're not they haven't communicated I feel like the deep feelings they have here I mean, they're certainly not taking action on it how stuck they are I don't know if you realize how stuck they are you might see it but I don't feel this person's told you why and and how attached they are to this past thing you know but there is movement here although like I said like it's not very linear and it might be very very sort of gradual so what is it exactly that pile two is needing to know that pile two's person has not yet communicated or isn't being honest about or so nine pentacles in reverse so that's this like i said like i was getting it more like they're not there yet like they're not the nine pentacles yet as long as they're sort of telling themselves, I don't know, that they're, they're, they're damaged in some way or unworthy because of an experience of the past, then they're not available for a connection because they're not in their nine pentacles. Six pentacles. So this is a balanced give and take, being able to, to be in receptive energy and to be able to give in a balanced way. Two cups, there's more balance, give and take in a partnership. Yeah, it's like, if I'm not the Nine Pentacles, I can't give. I can't make myself available. I can't receive or give love in a balanced way or show up in equal value here with the Two Cups. Okay, why is this Nine Pentacles in reverse here? So we have the Temperance, which is all about finding the balance, getting in workable energy to show up so we could be workable and this is Sagittarius energy, alchemy, like taking anything that's happened in the past, but still being able to be workable in the present moment to create something. And the King of Cups in reverse. So we see the Queen of Cups, the King of Cups, deep, deep love and feelings, but in the reverse, it's like emotionally being unavailable here, not in the energy that's workable because we're blocked in the, in the, emotions with the king of cups reverse and we'll be blocked here if we don't make ourselves available and this person hasn't made themselves available because they feel they need to engage with reconciling instances of the past you know look again blocked ace of swords so the truth can't prevail and i can't take action or communicate a great truth or have a new beginning as long as i'm stuck in the past oh, why is this two cups here four wands in reverse this is my 11 11 card which could signify like i said the twin flames this is the structure building the you know building the stability of the connection coming into union blocked it's like it doesn't happen like we can't build the structure if we can't be balanced in a show up energy here with our person and the only way this this could happen is if we take action on the truth and the truth is that the past doesn't exist anymore. That we need to, to be in a balanced energy and a show up energy and not block our, our feelings. Because I feel like this person has feelings, but they can't act on them or express them just yet. As long as they keep staying stuck in this past energy. Okay, I, I feel like I, I need to give you guys some guidance or some advice or something you need to know about this. Because maybe this is providing clarity as to why this hasn't moved from a 5D or you know so let's see um spirit for pile two what are they needing to know then is, is there guidance or any sort of questions pile two still has in regards to what they're supposed to 
I don't know, be engaged or, or what exactly are they supposed to make of this whole thing? This person's sort of stuck in the past. I feel like this person is having to, like they are having to find their way out of this. Okay, like there's nothing really you can do. Like they'll be stuck here and I feel it's a lot of this ego work, like identifying their own sort of value is not hinder on what's happened in the past and the confidence in self by identifying what's ego what's bruised because there's lots of ego here pulling through and look the skull to me is all about the transformation which we were getting with the death like like having to transform as an individual here because of this burden that they're carrying with the ten wands it's like they don't want they're not going to want to be in the sludgy energy. It, it's like moving through the mud, you know, very slow. And it's like, what's creating this transformation in this person's world to release the things that don't work or the, release the past because it, it's over, you know, release the past. And so it's a process. Yeah, it's a process. So spirit, what does pile two need to know? I think that was it. Like maybe you're just wondering like when, you know, I'll take time with the star. So this is all about, Fate, healing, a vision for the future, keeping our hopes alive, our wishes or desires. So I feel like there is um, future hope here, but this person needs to do the healing, which comes with this transformation. And I feel like they're the only ones that can sort of heal themselves. <clears throat> yeah, chariot in reverse. So I feel like things aren't moving, things aren't successful. This person isn't in a balanced energy. They need to find more balance, integrating the shadow. Okay, Cancer energy and Aquarius energy. And so I feel like the future is where this person can create their success. If they were to move forward right now, I feel like this person would be too imbalanced. So the healing has to take place in order for there to be success, for there to be balance. It's just a matter of like timing here yeah, and look for wands again so that they could build the thing, you know, the structure, the stability, have the marriage come into union. Page of Swords. This is the early stages of really understanding certain things, like getting curious. And it's also the Ace of Swords because it's, we need to understand certain things so we can embrace truth. And the Page of Swords doesn't, isn't scared to ask these, tr these questions to gain a better understanding. And so I feel like there's early stages of understanding what this person is doing in order to gain clarity about what's happened. Not that they, you know, would need to know this in order to have a new beginning, but I feel like they're going to get there to their own conclusion. Like it doesn't really matter so much what's happened in the past, but if we're still sort of looking at it as something that's impacted us, they need to understand to their own sort of level um, before they can have any movement. You know, like, like go within, sit and do the hermit's journey, reflecting that their internal self has no tie to what's happened in the past. Come to this sort of understanding, start to really sit there and, and reflect in this way. Yeah. Six swords so that they could get out of any five swords, move on to calmer waters, have find more peace in their world. And the six swords is always where we move forward with truth, but we still sort of carry this, this baggage in some way. So this person might take some time, like I said, like maybe two steps forward, one step back, like in order to fully come out of this energy, they have the five swords with them. That's the baggage moving with truth will take this person some time. You know, but at least there's still, there's movement here in case you're wondering, like, is this person completely stuck? Like, yes, they got to integrate and find balance, but I don't feel like they're stuck, stuck. I feel like it's very slow. I feel like they're still challenged. I feel like they're slowly embracing truth as they ask themselves more questions and get to the bottom of this. I feel like uh, the burden of staying stuck in that web for a long period of time, they can't be there. They have to come out of this sort of lack mindset of, I'm not good enough or what's happened to me. So in the meantime, I feel there's a connecting on this fantasy level, um, you know, this fantasy level of what they could have with you because I feel like there is deep love with the King and Queen of Cups. So it's felt energetically, telepathically, 
in a fantasy way, but in reality, I don't feel it's there. Like even the stars, like this distant thing we can't attain just right now, you know, and then this is the opposite. It's like, like actually building it, grounding it to the foundation of it, you know, in the distance here, but, it, but this person is doing this sort of, um, reflecting and understanding of self. So it sounds like it's all about this person right now, you know, that's why this thing is stuck. And uh, I feel like they're shutting you out in some way or like you're not really in the know, you know, of, of a lot of this stuff. So I don't know that they're right out uh, lying to you so much as they're just not telling you this stuff. And I feel like they're not even consciously so aware at how this, this energy is impacting where they're at in their life. Like they're exerting a lot of energy here. You know, and, and it's required, I feel, in their journey specifically so that they could ascend, so that they could get clear. But is it really required? No, like once we figure out like the past has no bearing, you know, on what we do right here, right now, and our joy and our happiness, nor does it dictate, you know, the past isn't going to dictate our self-worth. This person could just cut cut free and, and act and have a new beginning and move on. But I mean, we know it's not that simple. And so they got to get there to their own accord by really diving into themselves here and so they might be removed they might be very removed here mm, i feel like this person's getting closer to the divine as well i'm seeing crown chakra and because telepathic bond yeah like like i feel this person is getting a lot of downloads um is working with the divine but i feel like this person might escape a lot here they, they escape a lot to here and this is the unhealthy attachment you know so they kind of have to um, come back to reality in some way but I, I feel like it's going to be a process is how I feel and so maybe you feel like there's no progress or like I, I say like they keep moving backwards you know but there is movement here whether you see it clearly or not, it's it's slowly moving them out of this sort of energy. All right, so this is what I see, pile number two. I hope this helped you, and I'll see you at the next one. Bye-bye. Hello, hello, gorgeous angels. You guys picked the Dean Darcy, Mermaid Tarot, pile number three. Let's take a look at the person on your mind, and, and what is it exactly this person has not yet communicated to you? Either they're too afraid to tell you, or they don't want you to know. Maybe they lied by omission, or maybe they outright lied. But what is the truth here that hasn't yet come out or been revealed? All right, so clear and concise message for the greatest and highest good of pile number three. Please protect me and the viewer as I channel this message for the greatest and highest good of pile three and this connection spirit. Thank you so much, pile three, for allowing me to tap into your energy. The energy around you at this time i'm so blessed to be here now like i mentioned in the intro if this is shocking news then most likely not your pile this should be something that confirms your intuition okay something you already sort of suspect but um use your intuition over mine okay whenever you'll see feel or hear to determine whether this is your pile or not So a lot of people here so not everything is going to be a hundred percent um to your story but it, it should match the energy overall okay leave the messages that don't resonate for you don't force it to fit and if this sounds more like your energy then your person could be elsewhere or if there's multiple energies pulling through you'll have to determine who is who because i might get it wrong and say it's you and it's your person vice versa okay so in saying that let's ask spirits for the truth of what and this person has not yet revealed or communicated to you. Clear and concise message spirit for beautiful pile number three. All right, so we have the emperor in reverse, Aries energy. We have the world in reverse. We have the devil, Capricorn energy. Why is the emperor here in reverse spirit? We have the nine pentacles okay why is the world here in reverse we have a chariot in reverse cancer energy look at two dolphins all about love 
unconditional love, compassion. Okay, why is the devil here with the lovers? I got the two mermaids chained. Nine cups under the devil. Yikes, okay. And the moon. Cancer Pisces energy. Let's pull some oracles. Or pile three, what is it that pile three has not yet communicated or hasn't been clear about or has omitted from telling? Pile number three, spirit. What is this truth? Clear and concise message for the greatest and highest good of this connection. And pile number three. guy is giving me heavy Napoleon energy so someone might be French someone might be really sort of um, into their history but it could be about conquering some sort of something here conquering oh I dropped the card give me a second okay so these are my abstract cards this one fell this is giving me butterfly energy Normally, I'd read it as transformation, freedom, which I am getting sort of freedom from the Napoleon and this Nine Pentacles, but I'm really getting also, um, oh, I just drew a blank. What was I getting? Wow, my channeling just totally stopped. That was very weird. Okay, well, let's keep going. Anyway, these are abstract cards that I created here. Who's coming through with that? Oh, yes. Butterfly effect. The butterfly effect, like the, the history of something that's created something, you know, like had this not happened, that not happened, then this wouldn't have happened, and it happened this way, and like historically there's the history of something that's happened in a way, and so now therefore there's this, this consequence, there's this effect. Like what's happening right now is as an effect of consequences. Mm-hmm. Okie dokie. Death. Scorpio energy. I'm going to keep it like that. And this is all about the transformation. So butterfly is picking through, but like I said, it's more the butterfly effect. So transformation would be, you know, releasing all the things in our world, including behaviors and detaching from things that are keeping us in, in an energy that doesn't allow for new. Doesn't allow for new in our world. So this is an abstract card. It looks like shards of um, of glass, almost like something's shattering here. It's getting that from the death, like the old is shattering, but it's painful, like like a window smashing I'm seeing, or like a vase breaking, like into a bunch of pieces here. But it's sharp, you know. And if you're too close, you get hit with the shrapnel. I feel like some of you guys might have got hit with shrapnel. Yeah, and look, scattered, and this is like pink little blobs this one's a little softer but it's scattered okay i'm not sure what i'm feeling from that one just yet so we have service i feel good when i can help others that's the opposite of what i'm getting here getting more self-focused than i am helping others judgment i understand that everyone has their own unique path and challenges okay Put that back there. We have 66 with alchemy, 66 a master number. It's like I say, uh, giving. Okay, so this is the service, giving from an overflowing cup, not from, from a place of martyrdom, having to commit foolishly to something. Alchemy is giving me temperance energy, which is uh, about balance and healing and showing up in doable energy. Stars giving me Aquarius, and then the rainbow giving me... Um, Hangman, Pisces energy, a change in perspective, but also star about hope with the rainbow being about hope. Hope, hope, hope. Okay. And here we have 69 with a fearful world. And this could be devil energy, you know, being bound to something because the anxiety or the, the fears of what, it, what could be is really intense here. Yeah, look, 15 is the devil as well, 69. Okay. 
69 is also a very sexual number. And we have the devil, which could be like really intense sexual energy pulling through here. Like with nine cups, it's like gratifying oneself sexually with the 69. Okay, that's interesting because I had a very sexual reading in the, the last one that I did here. Not too long ago. Could be um, around the same energy. We'll see. Okay, so Capricorn energy pulling through again. Yeah, and, and look, 12 was um, Hangman, which I was only getting from the rainbow, but 66 is 12, which is Hangman. So Hangman's coming through again, Pisces. I need to see things from a different perspective. Yeah, shrapnel, but it's softer. It's not as hard as it... Oh my God, not the sexual innuendos again. It's not as hard as it seems, or it wasn't as hurtful as it might have uh, felt. I don't know. Okay, interesting. 28 or the number 10. 10 is about transformation and ends of cycle. Okay, and here we have the rocket. Oh my goodness, more sexual energy I'm feeling here, you guys. This is too funny. <laughs> I don't know who's joined this channel, but these last few readings have been very sexually charged here. So we have the stars all about our hope. Our hope with the rainbow or vision and the rocket uh, i'm really just getting like sexual energy if i gotta be honest cosmic exploration cosmic exploration wow that's intense i get emotional when i think of you and that's the moon all about our emotions and needing to to see clearly or through the moonlight and you are the first person to make me feel this way interesting this came out for pile one Okay, you guys, let me sit here with this energy. Hermit in reverse. Virgo. Major arcana, major arcana, major arcana, major arcana, major arcana, major arcana. Holy major arcana. I can't even. This is like so intense. So just give me a bit. Oh my god. Okay. Okay, it's, um, I think this is connected to yesterday's reading. I don't know, but I'll read it independently of this, but it's the exact sort of same energy. If this is your person, okay, if it's you, then crisscross it. But uh, this person is really sexually, yeah, even this is giving me, like, woman sexual part, okay? This person is sexually turned on by you, like, no doubt, okay? But I feel like there's been pain caused here by this person's actions, and lack of taking accountability and like being stand up like i feel like this person has been selfish and i keep like with napoleon it's like i don't know like maybe you feel conquered by this person or maybe this is the way that they're coming off like conquering you like you're this thing to conquer sexually you know oh this is a difficult reading okay so it's like yeah, like, I am able to be engaged sexually, conquer you, like, there's a pull to you, there's an obsession, there's, like, mad passion here, you know, but there's been pain, like, like, the, the illusion of who this person on the outside could have been, it's like, it's like they created the pain in their own, in their own, by their own action, they ruined an image of themselves that, that maybe you wanted to believe could be them and still could be them, but that's not how they acted. They weren't stand up. They acted in, in some sort of selfish energy here. You know, it's like they were thinking of themselves. They weren't thinking about everyone involved here. And I think they were leading with their sexual energy. So what they're not telling you, though, is I feel like this person is giving off one energy that doesn't make you feel very good. But I think you connect with what's going on deeper within this person, you know, that, that there are feelings deep in here. Oh, my God, the sexual innuendos. I, I, I Honestly, this is what happened in the last reading. I just keep coming. Oh, my God. I can't stop. This is like... Spirit, I, I can't channel when I'm in this energy, but I guess I gotta, I gotta, I gotta channel it this way. So I apologize for any of the sexual innuendos because they're going to come through. Okay. They're going to come through as they do. So 
inside <laughs> this person really has something else going on here that they're not wanting to accept because it's going to shatter an illusion of what they have created in their world historically. I think they already have built some sort of empire and they have an image to upkeep. But I'm seeing, you know, Napoleon in short and like, like think they're better than they are. Like, oh my God, I'm getting so many downloads right now. So it's like, and then not judgment, but I mean, and there's so many better people than Napoleon, right? Like big built, strong, sexy men. Like here's this person, but, but it's not even saying like, they're not, not good looking or any of that. It's just saying like this person's idea of who they think they are. And like Napoleon probably thinks he's a shit, you know, and gets his way and blah, blah, blah. But, but inside there's like little man syndrome here. Okay. And like, and the little man syndrome here is because if they drop the illusion of who they think they have to be or the, the history of who they were at one point who they've created here it's like they don't want to be seen like that so they have like something to upkeep and it's like they're also used to getting what they want and i think it's very selfish i think this person's stuck on you i think this person conquered you in some way or, or is painting that out even though no one can conquer you that's the thing you know but it's like depending on where a mindset's at, it's like if this person took advantage or whatever, it's like, hey, like they, they used me or they abused me or they got what they wanted here, you know? Mm, but but I feel like nobody can touch that pure part of yourself here that I feel you need to tap into, which is that the shrapnel, although it hurts, it's really like petals of, of flowers. It's soft because when somebody's in this energy it's so beneath anything divine and pure that it's not it, like the devil's an illusion like there's no two powers you know there's god power and then there's being unaware of god which is devil there's no two powers there's no you know this is giving the devil too much power like saying that there's a power that's equal to god like no god is the almighty okay and that the truth is the almighty and so if we start believing and feeding into the devil and making it an entity onto itself, it gives it life. But it's like, if we know that the devil and the shrapnel here was actually leaf petals and it's actually a joke and that this person's really Napoleon trying to be Aquaman, you know, kind of thing. So I feel you gave them sexual energy. I feel like you feel used. I feel like this person is still covering up that, 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 I don't know that they got what they want in some way here, but, but really the fear that they're not communicating here is their fear in tapping into the divine, beautiful energy that we all have within us. So they're feeding into the devil uh, illusion, you know, like I'm going to continue this weird, weird way of engaging with the outside world by upkeeping my persona even though inside I feel this compassion and, and pile number three's made me feel a way that other people haven't made me feel. But how can I, as Napoleon, again, take this, you know, this is coming through as sort of a analogy metaphor. I, as Napoleon, the conqueror, the this, the that, and all these things that I am, you know, and it could be that this person is, I don't know, like publicly known or some, something like this, or at least maybe they just have a big ego about them, right? Like my image of me. You know, like if I am truthful about how pile three really made me feel, it's like there's a shattering of my persona as Napoleon here, you know? So there's feelings here that this person has for you. I think it, it didn't reflect in their actions. And when they betrayed your trust, they sort of betrayed something within self as well, you know? And, and I'm getting from this energy, like, um, yeah, like, like emperor in the reverse, like somebody who is in the shadow emperor, like I do what I want, how I want. And like, I don't take others into consideration here. And even if I am not single, you know, like even if I'm committed to something else or someone else, it's like, I'm really not because I always kind of get my way anyway. 
So hence, this person sort of having their will with you, you know, like having their way, like I get what I want, like, but not taking, not being stand up, like not taking the community sort of like, like king energy, like the whole community of the, the county or the, the, the people, the townsfolk into consideration when making decisions. It's like, I'm going to just selfishly think of myself. And so I think there's other people maybe involved here, specifically you for sure of how they treated you. So it's like, okay, I gotta, I gotta consider how pile three is going to feel about this, you know, rather than just sort of have my will and have my way because I do sort of what I want here and, and get all these treasures for self. But, but I feel like, um, they're certainly not over you. And I feel like this person is learning something quite profound here because I feel like this is um, their pathway to understanding something with within the divine and, and this massive transformation. So they're really disconnected from the greater truth that's going on within. I think maybe you've been in some moonlight energy wanting to see the best and I feel you have a good heart here you know and maybe you thought if I share with this person physically you know knowing knowing because I feel like on an intuitive level I, I think you you knew that this person had feelings you know like you could feel that that you touch this person in a way here that's oh, what was this one I'm sorry touch this person in a way that maybe they haven't been recognized for the first time it's like because they've always been this sort of energy like who would and this sounds really mean but who would love such a person you know that's kind of selfish it's kind of da 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 and all these things and it's like you are because you have a heart of gold you're like the, you're like the perfect person that is to come into this person's life to to open their eyes to this sort of foolishness you know like they have to start to see things from a different perspective see themselves see their engagement different and so i feel like um if this person's only ever been able to act in a physical way, it's like now here there's these strong emotions they have, you know, with the dolphins. Like this is foreign to this person. They only know how to really act in a way here that's been physical and devil. And this is their this is their pattern in their world that needs to come to an end, that needs to transform, that needs to close out. And so, although very painful here, I feel like it's because this person's closing the cycle out of being this reverse emperor, being in the shadow, thinking of self in a way here, but what has it got them? You know, what has it got them? Because this is the card of success, integrating our shadows so we can work with the universe to have success and move forward. I feel this person is stuck in some part of their world here that has them held back in this energy and it's not healthy. It's like small fish in a big pond. Like here I am Napoleon, you know, four foot nothing. Not that height means anything, but it's like, so, so the shorter I am, the louder I scream. You know, that's an analogy, by the way. I don't know. Take it as you will. And maybe these are all really nouns of your person as well. I don't know. Maybe they are really short, but either way. Immediate gratification, thinking of self, not considering others, stuck in their world, so what they're not telling you is all these things that they don't even want to acknowledge on the inside. And so one thing that I'm being shown here, when we go through a massive closing of a cycle, you know, like, like a spiritual change, the people who are on one or a pole or opposite end end up going to the pole or opposite end like like of that shadow because you know like criminals end up becoming like the the, the most non-criminal people you know like um there's there's a, there's a part of this person that needs to be healed so that they could be loved for and give love for different reasons rather than how they feel they have to give love and, and be be loved you know, like maybe they feel like they can only be loved if they have power and if they're being like in this sort of an energy. But that's not the only way they could be loved, but but they feel like that's the only way. So I don't know, like maybe this person also lied and said they were single for a lot of you guys, but they weren't. 
So they could have been in another relationship, meaning lovers, you know, or they painted something else to be one way and you feel tricked. But I feel like with this, and this part is probably what's going to be difficult with this service and judgment, I feel like it's for you guys, for you guys to, and this is very difficult to do, okay, not to pass judgment. Now, this doesn't mean forgive this person for hurting you with the shrapnel here, okay, but to know that this shrapnel is really just rose petals. And I know we don't see it or feel it this way, but when we connect to the divine being and everyone, we don't pass judgment and we see the suffering here that they're in devil energy and that you are being of service to this person in some way, although yes, maybe it doesn't feel good and in a physical way and not at all. I wouldn't like to be used this way at all. I feel this is how you feel. You know, but our, but our body isn't us. And I know that's difficult, especially if, if we've been abused or, you know, if we're suffering, if we experience pain or, or um, disease. This is what enlightened people sort of uncover as they walk the journey. That's that our true being is not tied to the body. So we overcome, you know, um, things as, as um, disease and viruses and what's going on in the body. It's It's not us even if we were like abused it's like okay the only way to overcome this is to know the divine being that we are that's pure and untainted here okay and i feel this is what to, what the spirit is wanting to pull through here is like you are this beautiful energy that's been not treated very well by someone here who's closing out a cycle in their world and so sometimes even if we're not the deserving of this no one would really be karma knows and karma is the way of energy evening out so I don't know what you've done in your past life, you know, and I'm not saying you're deserving, but energy is energy and it always balances out. And karma is karma. Karma is karma. Just like the law of the universe. Okay, so this is what's playing out here. Look for wands in reverse. So I'm kind of getting a shattering of a, a family or a, a stability here of something. Like this person might be... Sh um, might be like this might be a process here in order for this person's world to sort of be released whatever stability maybe they have a family situation going on here you know like that they're they're a moonlight about that they're trying to perceive as one way but there's really hermit work here that needs to be done and so I don't know, because Emperor is all about, you know, dad energy, like husband energy. This is like a family, community energy, and this is being single. You know. I feel like i got to get you guys some more here. I, yeah, let's see. Spirit, what's going on here with Pile three's person and this? What they're not wanting to communicate or... So we have the King of Wands in reverse. I'm not surprised to see it. Out of all the kings, probably the most sexual king is the King of Wands. You know, King of Wands is confident and attractive and fire and just like, yeah, like Emperor in reverse energy, you know, at times where he's just my way or the highway and there's like this, this like bad boy energy about him. But deep down, it's, it's a lack of confidence. You know, and there's a need to have a, a greater vision of what this person is supposed to achieve and have victory in their world. Like, what is victory? You know, is victory conquering sex? Is victory hurting other people? Is victory ruining marriages? Is victory lying to others? Is victory like, no, you know? And so, I don't know, this person has to sort of understand what victory is and what they want for themselves for this long term, instead of this like conquering energy. That's all I keep hearing is like conquering. Two swords. So two swords is indecision, but it's also two things that can't coincide together. You know, it's either this life or that life, but they both don't don't like you have to choose one or another. You can't you can't choose one and, and keep the other around. So it's like, if I want to be single and play the field, it's like, I can't then be married. 
you know, or I can't pretend that I'm single if I'm married. Like, okay, well, do you want, it's like, I feel the real truth here is this person wants happiness, wants emotional connection, felt this with you. You know, they're getting pulled to a higher version of self and they don't want to take action. So they're still in the world, in this in moonlight of staying in, in a marriage that's not working or in a relationship that's just needs to fall apart or change. But it's like they need to go within to really see what they want rather than sit in moonlight and take action like they're single. But they haven't taken any action in departing from this relationship that they're in. You know, like, do you want to be single and available to do what you want? You know, look, eight wands, like break free, have forward movement with themselves. Like, but this eight wands is stuck in a, in a circle. So, and there's the, the, the clock. And it's like, they might, again, with the world in reverse and this cyclical sort of energy I'm getting from eight wands, even though eight wands is forward movement, this one is giving me cyclical they keep engaging in cyclical ways in their world that they need to close out that isn't allowing them to break out of and have forward movement in regards to what they actually are passionately wanting to do because i feel like they have a lot of passion around this connection you know and and it doesn't only sit in a physical i feel like it's also emotional but the only thing they're engaging with here is like okay so if it's physical i'm still okay but if I connect emotionally, then I've crossed some sort of line. Meanwhile, it's like, no, you crossed the line, dude. The minute you were already like not, it wasn't working here. You weren't being honest. That's where the line was crossed. This is moonlight energy. You know, sitting here not wanting to take action and saying, well, I don't know how I'd look then. Because again, the reputation, if I said I was divorced or if I didn't do the upright thing. You know, or whatever, left this person or the situation that maybe I, I have a responsibility to. It's like this person has a responsibility to something. And so they're they're playing a role, but I feel like they've already betrayed this responsibility already. So what are they telling themselves? It's moonlight, you know? Okay, what else, spirit? The tower. That's what I was getting from this. And and it's in reverse because I, I feel like the towers happened. The minutes they already had something not working in their world. And I, I feel like they're trying to upkeep it, upkeep it alive. This illusion, this thing, this pretend thing that's fallen apart, has already fallen apart. They're not letting it fall. Three swords, not, not allowing the pain with the three swords in reverse. It's like preventative action. Ace of Cups. Yeah, they want a new beginning. They feel emotionally connected to you. This is the new beginning. This is all about self-love. So if we still treat other people in this way, we don't know about our own self-love, you know? And so I feel like this person is needing to know their own self-worth here and it doesn't come in physical form and that they do, um, they do deserve to be emotionally happy, not just physically. And so I feel like this person let their physical thing be in a separate sort of category, but is still avoiding their tower falling down in the world so that they can prevent any sort of heartbreak and say, well, I'm the responsible person here, you know, or I have this accountability to this, this commitment. So I I'm preventing sort of these pains. I'm not taking action. Meanwhile, it's causing all sorts of pain and queen of wands. Look at that king and queen of wands. This person's pulled by you. You could certainly be the other woman here. Okay. Maybe you're this person's other half. I don't know, but I feel like there's there's a connection here. This person is certainly feeling they're needing to see things completely different here. But I feel like spirit is saying for you, okay, if you're if you're understanding this soul connection and seeing beyond the matrix of what this person did, I totally get it if you don't. But if you are, because I feel like this is the type of pe person I'm reading for, that you're seeing the devil for what it is, that you're seeing this person's true self here beyond this very shallow way of being, you know, that to, to have hope that this person is in an energy of having to close out a major cycle and have a transformation in their world, but only they can do it. Only they can do this work, you know, but don't be in moonlight and be honest with yourself here. You know, like you not need to know your own self-worth and value, but if they shrapnel all over you, pun intended, you know, like, how do we take this? You know, so now we're kind of on notice. Do we want to engage with this person? The more we engage, like, okay, well, then we're sort of seeing this, this as however we want to see it now. 
you know, so I don't know, like, yes, this person is attracted to you. Yes, there's emotions here that this person, I think, is in, in denial or suppressing because they're trying to upkeep something in their world that they think is going to prevent the heartbreak. And it could be dressed up as, I'm trying to prevent all sorts of heartbreak from all of these people and this whole thing. Meanwhile, it's like, I feel this person is a little selfish, well, a little, a lot selfish, and it's dressed up this way, but it's really, really, or you're just avoiding your own heartbreak. You know, because I feel like they'd have to come to terms and it doesn't mean that they're emotionally going to be heartbroken over making a decision with someone. But when it's concluded and final, it's like we still have separation, sadness we got to deal with, you know, coming to terms that it, the, where we've built is not good enough for us or it's no longer doing it for us. Like we have to accept this, you know, come to terms with it, not be in moonlight and say, well, it's, you know, it's the, the, the thing that I got to be responsible to, or it's the, you know, this is devil energy and keeps us trapped. You know, meanwhile, they're like, oh, but, but really, you know, pile three makes me feel a certain way, but, but it's all sexual or it's not, it's no, you, this person deserves to be happy. You deserve to be happy. I don't feel you should sexually engage with this person if I got to be honest with you, but it's up to you. You know, but then if you're hurt, then just know this person needs to break out of this, needs to come to some sort of truth within self. So they're going to keep coming to you, like figuratively, literally like a rocket here, you know, shrapneling all over the place here, causing pain. Okay, so we need to, to close up, shop, close up shop. And, you know, we don't have to pass judgment or be angry at this person because they did it to themselves. They did it to themselves. They're being held hostage by the devil. Look at the situation that they're in. Ugh, like, and we got to come home to this. Like, th there's only a matter of time. They can't, they can't stay in this no more. They're, they don't even have the fire for this no more. They're, they're stuck. Okay, I feel this person with this wolf here. Well, it could be a dog. You know, on this nine pentacles, it's like they want to be, they want the freedom to do what they want to do here. Again, Napoleon energy. It's like, okay, well, if you want the freedom to do this, then you have to let the tower fall and become sort of honest with the truth. And I think if they had their way, they'd want to engage with you because the love is here, you know, but I think their loyal, loyalty is in question here with this dog. This is all about loyalty. I mean, this person acted like a dog. And really, they weren't being loyal and maybe telling themselves that they're doing the loyal thing or the upright thing. No, they're not. No, they're not. You know? So, ooh, I could go on and on and on, but I've been told I'm long-winded. So this is what I got. And I love you guys so much. I'm sorry if you feel this, you know? I am sorry. This um, happened for the reasoning it's happened. But I feel you guys are stronger and more in tune. And I feel you understand this person. And I feel like I'm reading for those of you guys who could see beyond this devilly energy, you know, and I feel like this person um, is really being called out of this, like all these major arcana, like the universe is in play. This is happening one way or another, you know, for this person to get out of this. It's only a matter of time. Okay, so I'll see you at the next one. Bye-bye. Hello, hello, gorgeous angels. Pile number four. You guys pick the Crow Tarot. Love this deck. We're looking at the person on your mind and what is it exactly that isn't being communicated. Either this person's lying, lying by omission, too afraid to tell you, or they don't want you to know, or maybe they do, but they haven't yet got the BA double hockey sticks to tell you. Um, let's see. Let's see what this is all about, okay? So this should be something that you probably already know. You know, but maybe not the extent, but it shouldn't be completely left field. I had no idea. It's so shocking to me. If that's the case, not your pile. Okay, so I do ask you to use your own intuition, which you'll see feeler here to determine whether this is your messaging or not. Don't force anything to fit. And um, if I say it's your person's energy and it sounds like you predominantly, then your person could be in another pile. Okay. Sometimes two energies pull through, and I don't know who is who, so you might have to crisscross. But other than that, that's the only sort of adjustment you should make. Don't take any messages that aren't for you if it doesn't sound right, but it's the overall energy in that pile that should be resonating with your story. Okay, so we'll ask Spirit for a clear and concise message for the greatest and highest good of Pile 4 in this connection, for Pile 4 in the connection 
what is it exactly that the person on their mind has not been honest about or hasn't communicated or has lied to pile for either on purpose or by omitting truths spirit clear and concise please thank you so much pile number four for allowing me to tap into your energy the energy around you at this time i'm so blessed to be here doing your reading all right so we'll also pull some oracle cards i am feeling two more Okay, let's get this sort of tidy. I feel it's like that. Okay, some oracles. Pile number four's person. What is the truth that isn't yet out on the open here? All right. is the truth or what is you know, that pile number the forest person isn't coming forward with and so I'll pull some of my abstract oracle cards that I've made there's one there's two I feel one more okay I'm just gonna grab the one that fell okay the only thing that's revealed itself is this one here so I'm getting kind of a uh, eight wands type energy from this, but so eight wands is like forward movement, you know, breaking, breaking forward. But, but I feel like there's still a lot of confusion here because I'm also getting cloud energy. And I'm also getting, There's question around grounding or stability or, or, or how this could be nurtured. How this thing could be nurtured, I feel. Okay, let's see. So we have five cups. Don't read bottom of the deck reverse. Five cups. Looking at three spilled cups, two in the upright. The star. Yeah, the long-term stability, like the long-term vision. This is in reverse, the star in reverse. It's like losing hope or like not having a long-term vision. That's Aquarius energy. Let's see. Sorry, I'm going back to Oracle's trust. I accept that my inner voice will always guide me correctly. Yeah, confusion in how to move forward, how to ground, how to, to find the stability for the long term. Service, 22. 22 is a master number. It's about a peacemaker. So I'm getting Libra energy, diplomacy, healthy energetic boundaries, and divinely guided relationships. Yeah, and two is two two is four, which is structure, foundations, and stability. Again, I keep getting back. And four is the emperor, you know, being empowered, doing the right thing, being confident to take action, divine masculine energy. Um, also feeling with the twos here is about balance, duality, choices, two people, stars, Aquarius, the star pulling through again. Okay, service, Just brushing your hair. And here we have Cosmic Exploration. This came out for Pile 3. It's more star energy. Lots of star, lots of Aquarius. Like the vision, like getting to the long-term vision here would require, would require something. Like a rocket. Like not everyone has a rocket or capability to land there. I feel, I feel this person's questioning some sort of long-term thing here. Okay. So this gives me five wands type energy. Five wands energy. I'm also getting um, what I'm seeing here is, is the sky. Like I'm seeing like chemtrails is what I'm seeing. So I don't know. Maybe maybe this person is uh, an advocate, but I see chemtrails. I'm also seeing um. 
five wands, which is conflict. This person's conflicted and the chemtrail could be representing. Um, yeah, because I was seeing clouds here too. It's like the uncertainty or the confusion like is almost like this 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 poisonous thing like like a chemtrail is poisonous mm, this is weird okay let's keep going so we have the two balloons it looks like and and, and the waves which could be water emotions and there's submerged we see more pink energy pink is usually gives me um like a pure love you know love of self like rose quartz and virgin energy and then we have the red which could come through as um root chakra or devil energy also intense intense love as well but more on a passionate sort of blinded you know or, or blinded anger um only devil energy and, and yeah and the emotions are sort of submerged here okay so devil is capricorn energy okay and then we have spiritual awakening oh my goodness okay spiritual awakening and we have you are the first person to make me feel this way interesting this came out for all three piles um i think pile two three and, and now for four i'm pretty sure wow okay interesting so let's see the tarot okay so we have the page of swords in reverse and then we have the three pentacles in reverse you know so the lack of a lack of seeing a direction or understanding something here lack of clarity and then lack of showing up not showing up okay the moon lack of clarity not seeing clearly but we had spiritual awakening so this is getting in tune with our subconscious but it is also emotions with this moon feminine energy uh three cups in reverse so three pentacles three cups sometimes could mean third party but it doesn't necessarily mean a person i'm seeing devil third energy in the way of this person being practically available and being clear about the direction and the certainty and growth here and three cups here i read it sometimes as third party but in the reverse to me sometimes it's dealing with an addiction devil again you know, drinking, partying, or, or surface type connections here. And like a group of people, or we use distraction. And here I see poppies, which is about the past. You know, past traumas, past experiences, past things that kind of keep us in distraction mode or incapable of being available here or that we need to, to, to dig into our subconscious. Maybe we're really disconnected from our emotions and how we're truly feeling. And so there's numbing agents here trust i accept that my inner voice will always guide me correctly okay yeah and i'm getting forest energy from this too like navigating the unknown and we're so confused you know like we have to have a level of trust when we navigate through a forest but it's like the adventure it could be kind of scary here and I don't know. okay so nine pentacles this is independence being single and confident and capable and independent having our own sovereignty and okay and this is maybe not wanting to depend on other people or really kind of being removed from the network or society okay and here we have the king of cups lots of love here cancer scorpio pisces i was feeling love from the pink yeah, a lot of love because the king of cups loves the deepest okay this is the king that, that feels the most the deepest but but has a difficult time taking action on how he feels and then we see the little ship and the moon okay and then we have high priestess this is our intuition this is an inner knowing pisces energy so pisces coming through quite strong and three ones forward movement expansion which was the first thing i was feeling eight ones but going through the confusion and look these ones are going through the water again 
And water representing the emotions. It's kind of the same energy I was getting with the, the, the wands going through the clouds, which could certainly be puddles of water here. It's like the passion and the growth and the movement have to happen despite the confusion and despite the emotions maybe being very unruly or, or not clear, or like being immersed in emotions here. Mm -hmm. To have growth. But, but there is love, but I feel there's also devil energy, which I'm surprised we're not seeing devil just yet. Okay, so Ace of Swords, lack of clarity, lack of sometimes integrity because we're not acting on the clear truth. So it's right under the three wands. And here we have the Emperor in reverse, lack of taking action, Aries energy. Lack of confidence, potentially, but, but appearing confident in one way. Judgment under that. Okay, what's under judgment? We have the Ace of Cups, a new beginning, an emotional new beginning, self-love, which is feeling with the Rose Quartz. Okay, I do need to sit with this for a little bit and see what we pick up here, what this person isn't being honest or what, what hasn't yet been communicated to you. feel this is something you probably already know, though, looking at swords in reverse, but maybe you just need confirmation to hear it. So, I feel like everything that this person's energetically showing you is somebody who is incapable of being available to you or to provide any sort of confirmation or work towards what the future will hold, like building something secure with you because they seem to be in, in a bundle of sorting through. So there's confusion, there's emotions. The truth is this person has real deep feelings for you. The truth is that this person might be having an unhealthy way of what do they tag to independence or tie to independence that shuts them out. You know, and, and I do feel this person might have dependency distractions in some way here and I feel like this person is going through having to really sit with their emotions which might be an awkward thing for this person in order for them to grow spiritually for them to have this like awakening with the judgment and the spiritual awakening you know this is like a need to sit with our our feelings our shadows our fears our intuition so this is pulling through so there's an intuition through with this person and I feel like this moon looks a little bit blotched so I'm getting there's certain parts here that this person still hasn't connected to in their subconscious it's still in the shadow which is creating this person to be not taking action or are very clear about how they want to progress although there is a lot of emotions here and so i feel like this person feels saddened by what do they have not yet been able to to do here with the three cups spilt over and i feel like it's in this connection you know but but yet they could still engage here with the two cups but they're looking at the fallen cups of the three cups here and so this three cups for me in this reading is, 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 is representing like a distraction or it's almost like hermit energy or removed from society, devil energy. Like I'd rather distract or like focus on numbing agents, you know, whatever numbs them out, whatever distracts this person because it's like, and then they're like sad about this at the same time. It's like, well, because I'm engaged in this, you know, or have this about me because they, they tie their independence to that. Like, I independently just don't connect in this way to, to society or to people, you know, or like I, I depend on drinking, let's say, to distract me like this devil energy. And it's like, because of this, I, I can't engage here. And so there's a sadness about this. Like uh, this person hasn't showed up to, to, to carry any sort of balance in this connection of holding their own weight. 
So three pentacles is like two people come together to create the third thing here. Oh, interesting. I'm seeing the cherries again. And I think this came out in pile one in a complete different deck. And so cherries is, I get like a relationship, like two cups, like one person on one side and one on the other balance, like love and, and sweet sharing of emotions here, you know? So I feel like this person has love. They feel equally the same, but, but I feel like they're incapable of sh picking up their own weight. Oh, I'm seeing cherry blossoms here too. Hmm. Yeah, with the pink. Okay, so yeah, and, and I feel like look, this this page of wands is in reverse. So I don't know, like they're refusing to see or they're not. I feel like there's a blocking of seeing or wanting to know or wanting to understand why they can't. And this is coming from shadow. So it's like subconsciously they have a a a a, a devil way of coping distracting or or how they, they they tie their independence to which could either be just hermit energy completely being isolated and removed or over partying okay it could be opposite or like i said partying drinking whatever the thing is here because i'm i'm independent in this way but i'm not really sitting with the greater truth because that's in my shadow of why i really can't sort of show up here and so i feel like intuitively there's a connecting to something greater here because of these feelings that this person has that they're being called to expand to grow you know with the spiritual awakening to to sit with a greater truth to look at what they want for themselves long term here but this would require them to take action in an honest direction and get very clear about what's going on and, and the truth sometimes hurts you know because we have to deal with things we don't really want to accept or see or take action on like devil things and so there's this block here, you know, but, but you are the first person to make me feel this way. I feel like this person might've been comfortable in their three cups reverse energy, you know, not getting close because this could mean keeping very superficial relationships, not knowing how to have the two cups, not knowing how to show up. It might be a regular way for this person to be independent, you know, how they've always sort of tag their confidence to this like if i don't have to do or show up or just kind of keep relationship surface it, it keeps me independent or it keeps me unhurt or it keeps me in this sort of successful position you know but is this successful when we're cutting ourselves off from future sort of attainment or happiness here you know from from our own ace of cups like a cup that's overflowing with love and abundance here So I feel there's a lot more here we're not seeing because I feel like, I don't know, maybe you're, you know, supporting this person, like someone's brushing this person's hair. Hair for me is sometimes symbolizing ego. I don't know, are you stroking this person's ego? Could be, maybe not intentionally, but maybe this person is sort of... Um, in this connection as a way to prop themselves up. Mm -hmm. Two balloons again. Yeah, I feel like there's an unconditional love of, of you here, but I feel like there's definitely conflict, not seen clearly. Let's see. Also, like, with the, the chemtrails coming through again, like, you know, it's like one way, one way, one way, one way. It's like, it's like um, we're not getting anywhere. And we're just creating more toxic sort of situation. Yeah, we're not getting anywhere. More toxic. It's like we're navigating this forest blind. We're not getting anywhere in the forest. We're just sort of lost in the forest. It's not like a destined direction, like with the star in reverse. Like there isn't a targeted place to get to or attain. It's like this drowning in emotions, and the, but the, there's no targeted place. Spirit, clear and concise. Yeah, even this in reverse. Clear and concise. P pile number four. What are they needing to know in regards to what's their person and hasn't yet been able to communicate or what's going on here? Ten cups. Future happiness. Two people. Commitment. Long term. This is long term commitment. Coming together. Two families potentially coming together to create one community. Um, but I see 
circle here, which is giving you Wheel of Fortune. Again, it could be not getting anywhere here. Ideal relationship, Queen of Swords. So that's Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. That's getting clear, getting honest. High Priestess coming out again, Pisces. Intuition, acting on our intuition, seeing clearly what our intuition is telling us, what we know to be true. So there's an understanding that there's a full 10 potential here. 10 potential, 10 of cups potential here. I feel like it's the one underneath here. Two pentacles, I need to prioritize and choose going back and forth. There's the turbulency. I feel like this person feels they can't, you know, they can't decide, they can't choose, they can't prioritize. I think they, they're, So we have the Eight of Swords in reverse. Eight Swords is the, the mental prison of the limitation. We create them in reverse. It's coming out of that sort of limitation. And the Queen of Swords certainly doesn't limit herself. She embraces truth. Two Pentacles, a choice to break out of. Okay, I think I see what's going on here. One more spirit. Why is this high priestess here? Seven wands and ten swords. And under the ten swords, we have the chariot in reverse cancer energy. Okay, in balance with the chariot in reverse. Two of Pentacles is all about balance, but with the Two of Pentacles, it's this turbulency. Sometimes we're up or down. We can't decide. We can't find balance. Oh, there's one hidden behind there. Look at that. Four Pentacles in reverse. So this is the false emperor needs to let go of some sort of security, you know, some sort of false thing or, or safe zone that we're in, that we're hanging on to. I feel like this person is used to hanging on to a comfort zone of something that is toxic way of dealing. Okay, with the three cups in reverse and this devil energy of the balloon here. And it, it keeps them feeling confident or independent in some way, but it, it's false. Okay, it's actually causing the opposite here because it's taken away from their confidence, their inability to take action in a, in a confident way to, to, to take aim at something in their world that, that they could have as their own, including their happiness and long-term commitments of emotional happiness in relationship with this connection or for themselves because they have a hard time choosing this for themselves because they feel unworthy or they're needing to know that they're worthy of a 10 cups here for themselves but they'd have to choose this but if they don't feel they even have a choice to choose it because this person wouldn't know how to secure it they wouldn't know how to ground it or keep it and this is a limiting thought. It's like I'm not good enough or I haven't been capable of or I've never really been able to feel this way about someone to even know how to go about like doing this. So so there's this limiting belief here. But But I feel like this person is coming into some understanding here. And leaning into this this knowing with this high priestess because it is in the upright. It's like having an inner knowing, listening to your intuition, knowing that there's something here, okay, that that's worth sort of fighting for. That this person is um, fighting for what they believe. And I feel like this person believes in a potential here, of a, of a potential, but they don't see it as a probability that they could attain it, but they see it. You know, they see this thing. And so I feel like this person wants to, to fight to keep this as a thing, but I, I, I feel they don't know how to ground it or how to show up or how to choose it. So it stays stuck here and this person has to put an end to this sort of a cycle, you know, a cycle in their world of how they normally connect to relationship or how they normally connect to their happiness or identify with a form of independence yeah and, and death in reverse would confirm this for me because there's a massive shift here this also is spiritual awakening for me with the death where we shed things that no longer sustain our future and who we are to make room for new 
you know, new ways of being so we can expand and grow and have change and transform in our world. This person's having a hard time because they're, they're used to dealing in the way they normally deal. You know, I normally turn and just party, 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 or I normally just go inwards and sit on my own and just, you know, avoid people in general, or I normally just get to a certain point in a relationship that keeps it kind of um, surface. And that's been enough, you know, that's been enough, but it's like, well, it hasn't really fulfilled this person. It hasn't really given them their wish, hasn't really fulfilled their 10 cups. And so now it's like, well, that's all I've ever really known. And I don't know how to secure this. I don't know how to show up. Like, I don't know, you know? And so there's uncertainty around this. This person feels almost like they're navigating through a, a forest here, but I feel like there's a desire to do this. And there's, you know, the universe sort of having this person integrating parts of the shadow self here with that moon so they could find a state of balance within themselves. So that means putting an end to ways of being so they could be more in tune with their intuition and, and spiritual guidance and their into yeah, their intuition, spiritual guidance with the divine, you know, but that's going to take them having to find a sense of balance and make a decision here let go of whatever needs to die out and in order for them to gain a, a level of balance and, and secure something i feel you feel unsecure with this person in regards to what the future might hold even though there's potential because this person is in balance themselves they can't even find this themselves you know so let's see i'm gonna for this group i'm, I'm gonna pull some more here just to see can we see a little deeper for pile four what is pile four supposed to know about this connection with the person on their mind any questions they might still have anything further pile four needs to know guidance anything i'm missing further clarity for pile four spirit in this connection thank you so much One more. One more, I feel here. Okay, so ten pentacles. So now we see ten cups, ten pentacles. This is all about our long term, what we can build for ourselves for the long term. Okay, it's the legacy we leave behind, you know, the family we create, the stability, the security. I think this person's comfortable in a nine pentacles, like doing it my way. I don't want to depend on anyone else because I've always had to just depend on myself doing what I normally do you know what I normally do has worked for me whatever it is whether it's toxic or not it's worked for me it's a sense of independence that they gain from this so now here comes pile four you know with this potential of a 10 but I'm used to a nine even though emotionally I'm not happy but I, at least I have my nine pentacles you know I at least I have the false emperor I have some sort of false stability here of my nine pentacles but I'm not happy emotionally I'm shutting myself out of a 10 and it makes me feel sad, but but at least it's secure. So now here's the lottery win of whatever with ten cups, ten pentacles of a future. But like, I don't want to drop the ball. What do I do? I've never experienced such a thing here. The Hierophant in reverse. My whole lifestyle, the way I live my life, my ideology around my independence and what I feel is independent and how I behave, the actions I take is now kind of on its side here because this is what I'm used to. So now I gotta look at, with the spiritual awakening, look at my lifestyle, look at how I deal with these things, look at how, what I commit to. I'm committing to lighthearted relationships, I'm committing to partying, I'm committing to drinking, I'm committing to emotionally cutting myself out because I, I, I'm dressing it up as my independence. 10 cups, yeah, I'm like, what is really a 10 cups here? Because I feel this person hasn't, again experienced an opportunity to even know what a ten cups like so the nine pentacles has been doing it for this person like if we feel most confident and sort of to do you know this is how we live our life and it hasn't really it's like we, what we don't know doesn't hurt us like they don't know that they might have had an opportunity here to be emotionally blissful you know with someone else it's never even crossed our mind it never was even an experience here and so now here's this thing is like, oh my gosh, like I was totally not even 
seeing this for myself, I was really focused on my nine pentacles. So now my nine pentacles is at threat because if I go risk taking action and changing my world all of a sudden to, to chance it on a 10 pentacles, this might impact my foundation with the four pentacles. I'd have to let go of something that already is secure. No, like like let go of this three cups that's keeping me afloat that's been that's been my hierophant this has been my nine pentacles these three cups that is my my world a king of swords yeah so this person is needing to see something here um because the king of swords understands on a, a sort of a higher level of of what's going on like they intellectually understand and they could come up with like a, a strategy or game plan and taking action but but it's all like this sort of truth is still in reverse and, and this person could just be completely like in their mind but but be neglecting some sort of greater truth because sometimes the great truth is on how we're feeling and how we're supporting our feelings not necessarily how they've been connecting to happiness, you know, because I, I feel this person has been connecting to happiness in a way that doesn't involve feelings. And I know like for those of you guys who are really connected to your feelings, you may think, well, how can you like happiness comes from your feelings, which makes sense. But I feel like this person feels happiness might have come from being like secure, you know, or like like being in a, in a world where they felt independent but but at the same time it's like but it's neglecting their feelings and so now here come their feelings with the king of cups and all these emotions and it's like well i don't want to accept this truth or at least i'm not seeing it or i can't connect to it or I can't take action on this truth because i've always not been kind of removed from my emotions yeah, two of cups so i can't show up in a balanced way again not showing up with the three pentacles in reverse two of cups in reverse so it could have led to there being a huge imbalance of this person not being emotionally available or showing up king or sorry knight of swords in reverse again page of swords and it's like this person retreats anytime they have to show up in a balanced way or give love or emotionally open up or be the other half and they just retreat you know it causes them to hide or pull away or not be available six cups so six cups is this is the soulmates card this is a memory of a person place thing of the past that plays in our mind and there's the clouds which we were feeling so there's a lot of things sort of coming through here one i feel this person does certainly feel a soul connection to you with the six of cups here okay there's soul recognition but I feel like the confusion here is really caused by the way they're attached to something in their world of how they've always done it with the six cups. You know, this is my friend group or this is how I've always lived my life or like my family, my friends, my hometown, my lifestyle, my thing I'm attached to, my independence. This gives me a sense of who I am, but it's like tied to the past. It's like, well, no, who you are right now is someone who is cutting out love or who has a chance to be fully emotionally happy but is still identifying with the old self and the old story and the old hierophant in your world at the expense and so it makes them retreat you know meanwhile they can have a 10 pen, 10 cups and 10 pentacles the ultimate emotional fulfillment and build something here long term like a treasure you know a treasure and queen of cups in reverse so some of you guys might have pulled your love back, you know, or maybe they just lost out on you, you know, because we see the King of Cups and we see the Queen of Cups. Like both of you guys feel deep love for each other. And I don't know, maybe you feel like you can't emotionally sort of be in, in a lopsided connection here, you know, with someone who's pulled away or retreats every time you want to give love or share love. And so you feel like this person is incapable of giving to you love and compassion. You know, they're kind of daydreaming here about what could be, but not sort of taking action on it. And then I feel it all stems back to self-love, you know, like this person doesn't feel worthy. 
and so they're they're they are seeing some greater truth though like there's there's action happening here although there's a lot of shadow still in the in the in the subconscious you know but this is all great stuff in the upright although we did see death in the reverse because i feel like this person is still hanging on with the the four pentacles you know although it was in reverse like learning how, what to let go of like to not be so stuck in the way of life that they've attributed to their independence or their freedom or to give them security or confidence because it's actually doing the opposite here and it's preventing them from a future attainment of the wish and the wish here is to be emotionally happy because they, they feel a lot of love you know but they're acting in the opposite they're, and they're suppressing or denying some greater truth to act on and so they need to come into this divine masculine energy, which is act on a greater truth of, you know, some something that actually has, I don't know, like a, like a longevity here for the future, you know. And, and I don't feel this person has had to do this because I, I don't feel this has ever presented itself to this person. To have to take action on something like this and so it's easier just to hide away or retreat because that's how they normally deal you know but but the high priestess we saw in the upright so there's an intuition there's a knowing and there's still shadow here that this person's having to uncover and um i don't know for some of you guys if if you are still around this person like maybe you're i don't know stroking this person ego in some way but maybe this was like needing to pull away you know like or the queen of cups or in reverse like giving them the space to see something like they can't see the forest for the trees i don't know or maybe some of you guys like like this person's hair or I like to play with this person's hair or brush their hair or comb their hair or run your fingers through their hair and that might be um confirmation for someone here so this is what i have Pile number four. It's it sounds like it's still you know in progress here. This person is still um yeah going through something here. I feel like the the devil is still in their world in some way here, and you're kind of I don't know like have this love for this person, but I feel like you guys are in it sort of together. But their take on it, it might be a little bit different here in regards to how they're used to engaging here and how they're used to doing things but I, I feel they don't they they're feeling bad you know but but i feel like they're still a tie to this three cups that that's unhealthy okay so this is what i have pile number four i hope this helped i'll see you at the next one Bye bye